Hello KKC friends and others. This is Lawrence KL7L. We've just uh, been using this uh, 40 foot or 50 foot man lift to do some uh, pruning of some trees. And the reason is, I don't know if you can see up there, there's an end of a capacity hat wire for my 475 kilohertz uh, antenna. And I've also clipped that tree down there and the reason we've done that is it's raining as you can see here it's lovely south central Alaska through there is the top uh, spreader it's a three wire spreader for the 475 kilohertz Marconi the vertical bits at the other end get 100 foot away and this extra wire adds additional capacitance but it was uh, close to this tree here so we had to get up to that tree with the man lift and clip and clip and clip and clip in addition to that what we've been doing taking a stroll as you can see that's uh, greening up here in south central Alaska and it's raining also uh, we've been installing a a hex beam. There's the lake in front of us, it's Hart Lake and the mountains you can see behind there are the Talkeetners. They run to about uh, 5,000 feet and they're about 8-10 uh, miles away and it's difficult to get signals over them I can tell you that even at long wave. Anyway the ground was cleared uh, just a few months ago uh, and then we've waited for the ground to thaw it typically freezes down to about three or four feet here and then uh, we uh, mix some concrete and uh, that hole there is about uh, four foot deep and there's a, a uh, ground uh, Approved, I suppose a 4x4 four four pole that can be touching ground um, it's allowed to you know it's got protection and all that sort of stuff preservative and it's embedded in the uh, the concrete and attached to it is a G 450A I believe Yosu rotator and you can see the the power cable and that power cable in the end will go through up uh, up around the back and there's a duct that runs between the uh, the property here with this is actually a uh, an aerial tuning unit for my doublet where it goes across underneath the ground and pops out over there and goes through the house and it's about the shacks about another hundred feet away anyway so this is the the foundation you can see the earth rod and this is an eight foot uh, earth rod and a single thick conductor straight as possible and a good bondy connection to the structure and the pole. The most of the weight of the mast is taken by this uh, thrust bearing, which is the large Yesu one. I've forgotten the number. And nearly all the weight is uh, supported by that. And uh, the stru the structure here is very strong, and it's all angled and dangled, so as uh, it's not uh, the turning forces are very minimal actually on the rotator so the rotator is not actually taking any vertical weight nearly at all it's purely has in fact it's off there's actually a space between the bottom of the mast and uh, if you take this uh, this clamps off you can actually rotate the mast by hand it takes the stresses off the rotator uh, so the mast is a 40 foot telescopic uh, easy TM50, 40, TM40, 40, 40 foot, and it has a number of guying rings, which uh, we have this Dacron rope, and we're supporting it at three locations, and up there is a hex beam, and it's the NRR, I've forgotten the guy's call sign, is it N4NRR? I can't remember. Anyway, two element, uh, driven element, uh, two element, uh, beam bent beam basically 10 15 and 20 meters and uh, it actually works pretty good it's up about 35 feet 
which is roughly the same height as my doublet and depending on the wave angle um, there is an improvement. Uh, typical when you have a rotating mast instead of the rotator being at the top you have to take the count of the coax has to move so we leave these large loops around the uh, the guide points and even so it does uh, get caught up slightly but there's nearly no abrasion so that's the hex beam and uh, we're hoping that we can work you John G4STA Neil you get a HF license uh, <laughs> Chris SDG my brother G0ZMH and the rest of the my mob and also my mum who's a shortwave listener perhaps we can fire this this thing over the North Pole which is actually just slightly over those mountains the bearing to the UK is about 11 degrees and it's just uh, at the top of over the top of uh, that mountain so unfortunately for low angle wave low wave angles it's not actually very good we have to have a wave angle that's greater or close to the angle coming down there so and I think the angle is about five degrees five six seven eight degrees we have to clear those mountains so not particularly brilliant anyway uh, that's the lake and thank you for watching and uh, look forward to perhaps working you on this uh, uh, this uh, mast and uh, the hex beam oh by the way we use this uh, man lift uh, at 10 feet just sitting about here um, and, it, and then they uh, use the uh, use the Armstrong method of, of pulling the mast up so and that worked uh, pretty good so anyway seven threes on a very rainy uh, Sunday in uh, May 2017 this is KL7L also part 5 license WE2XPQ operating on 2200 meters and uh, 630 meters and there's my thumb and finger again seven threes